So now let's proceed with your potassium. Now, potassium kids, if major extracellular cation ng sisodium, potassium is the opposite. Potassium is your major intracellular cation. And being an intracellular na cation, meaning to say it is being housed within your cells. So, siya yung nasa loob ng cells natin. And the concentration of your potassium is 20 times greater inside than in the outside of your cell. So, again, yun na nga, intracellular siya. So, only 2% of total body potassium circulates in our plasma. Now, try to look at your bar graph. Diba, saan po yung potassium andito? Try to compare it with your intracellular concentration of sodium, tapos kani kay potassium. So, grabe yun kataas ang concentration ni potassium uh, inside your cell. So, thus, it is called as your major intracellular cation. And diba, our kids, less than one-fourth pamanggani ang volume ni potassium outside or sa extracellular fluid ninyo. So, they are, sodium and potassium are the total opposites with each other. So, with potassium kids, let us begin first discussing the sample considerations. So, here, uh, for the collection of specimens and even in specimen handling, naghanta ug consider kay potassium kits. Number one, in terms of the coagulation. Now, coagulation processes releases your potassium from your platelets. Kasi syempre, platelet is a type of, type of cell. So, meaning to say, na potassium na daghan sa iyahang sulod. Once your coagulation is activated, once your potassium is activated, marilis manggud na ang inyuhang potassium. So, as you can see, Serum potassium may be 0.1 to 0.5 millimoles per liter higher than your plasma uh, than plasma potassium concentration. So kaya uh, mas maganda sana if plasma yung ating sample for potassium but then again that's a case to case basis depende siya sa protocol sa hospital, depende din po siya sa ginagamit natin sa lab na machines. Kasi binabagay-bagay din siya. And then next, thrombocytosis will further elevate your potassium. And actually, this statement, kids, is the same with this third one. Nakalim, uh, medyo na ano lang siguro ako during paggawa or pag-type nito. But then again, the second and third one are actually the same. Because when we say thrombocytosis, that means that there is an increase in your platelet count. Then again, if there is an increase in your platelet count, there is also an increase in your potassium levels. So, here, better use if in cases na si patient may thrombocytosis, better use heparin as your anticoagulant of choice. Uh, common good food si heparin kids sa treatment ani na mga cases na naay mga coagulation problems. So, that is why in terms of measurement, uh, mas pinipilit na rin si heparin. So, next, prolonged tourniquet application or fist clenching could actually increase your potassium as there will be a shift of uh, the volume of your substances. And then if there is hemolysis, take note, hemolysis would mean that there is a destruction of your red blood cells, thus releasing your potassium, thus further increasing the amount of your potassium. And actually, kids, get try good na ako niya. Okay, due to my curiosity regarding the difference in the levels of your potassium, if normal or hemolyzed ang sample, nga due to one time na katong nag-work pa ako sa laboratory, and then naman good mi hemolyzed sa sample, get try good na ako siya o gran, uh, same patient, normal o kanang hemolyzed sa sample, and grabe good ang difference. So that is why really prevent using hemolyzed sa sample if you are trying to Check for the concentration of your potassium. Next, whole blood samples should be stored at room temp and analyzed as soon as possible. Why? If in, uh, if you will place an ice uh, dito sa inyong sample na need for potassium determination, it will promote the release of your potassium, thus falsely elevating its concentration. So, still in your laboratory output, kids, that uh, I will give next meeting, uh, may portion pa rin po kayo dun sa sample consideration. So, kindly read that one. And actually, most of this uh, na-mention na kanina, but just to emphasize further, 
So number one, hemolysis of 0.5% of RBC can already increase the level of your potassium by 0.5 or around 30% increase. Potassium concentrations in plasma and whole blood are 0 0.1 to 0 0.7 minimals per liter lower than those in serum. And stated reference intervals for serum potassium are 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 minimals per liter higher than those your plasma potassium. So plasma levels are lower compared to serum levels because of the release of platelets into serum on clot formation. So na-explain na na ako ni siya kaganina. So yun na nga, case-to-case -case basis as to the protocol of hospitals, basta dili lang yun mo mag-worry kids kay naag yung designated na reference range kung serum or kung plasma ang ginagamit. Next, 10 to 20% increase as a result of muscle activity. If there is a mild to moderate exercise, ing ani ang level na itaas sa yung potassium. If there is vigorous exercise or usually kaning inyuhang fist uh, clenching, there is around 2 to 3 na minimals per liter na increase. So, basically, the reason behind this, this kids, is that your potassium is actually involved in the uh, sending of ele electrical signals in your muscles. So, it lets them uh, contract your muscles properly. So, if low ka og muscle, uh, low ka og potassium levels, then uh, you would expect that there is weakness and cramping or ka mga muscle cramps na mahitabo sa imuhang body. Number four, prolonged contact of uh, bawal, bawal prolonged contact of serum and red cell, bawal prolonged application of tourniquet. Again, both of this will cause an increase, false increase in your potassium. Now, number six, if a whole blood specimen is chilled before separation, glycolysis is inhibited, and the energy-dependent sodium potassium ATPase cannot maintain this gradient and increases in plasma potassium will occur as a result of potassium leakage from your erythrocytes and other cells. So, ito na po yung, uh, ito na po yung explanation kanina sa uh, na-mention ko po regarding why bowel i-ice or bowel i-chill yung sample nyo for potassium measurement. So, the increase of potassium in serum is of the order of 0.2 minimals in 1.5 hours at 25 degrees Celsius, where at, at 4 degrees Celsius, the increase is consider, uh, considerably greater and has been reported to be as much as a 2 minimums per liter increase after 4 hours at 4 degrees Celsius. So, consider that one. Dako na kayo ng maskin isa lang kids. Maski one point na increase ng uh, dako na kayo na siya na difference. Especially if we are talking about accuracy. Now, lastly, a falsely decreased potassium value is initially observed if an unseparated sample is stored at 37 degrees Celsius because glycolysis occurs and potassium shifts intracellularly. So that is why it is always encouraged to use a uh, serum separator na mga tubes, kanang na ay mga separator, mga gel separators ninyo kids, and di ba nakakita and nakagamit naman yun mo ana. So, dako jud ka ayo ang tabang ana niya, not just to prevent na magmix balik, madisturb and mamix balik ang inyo hanggi centrifuge sa sample, but also for this reason. So, for the determination of your potassium, ito lang naman din, kids, yung tatandaan nyo. Meron din tayong chemical or colorimetric method in which we call that one your Lockhead and Purcell method. So, here, the reagent it used is your sod uh, sodium cobaltinitrite, which will now form your sodium potassium cobaltinitrite. Now, with the addition of your phenol, which is considered your color developer, a blue color will be observed. And the production of this blue color will be uh, measured using your spectrophotometer. We also have ISE testing here, your ion selective electrode. So, kung glass ang sa inyuhang sodium for your potassium, what we use is your valinomycin na membrane. And we also have your potassium chloride as your inner electrolyte na solution. So, for the reference range, for serum, that is 3.5 to 5.1. For plasma, depending kung babae or lalaki. So, males, 3.5 to 4.5. Females, 3.4 to 4.4. So, actually, gamay raman ang difference, no? And then, for the 24-hour urine, you have your 25 to 125 minimals per day.